Is your money safe in the big banks? Stay tuned, because we're going to talk about it. Welcome back. So the question here is, is your money safe in the big banks? Two years ago, Wells Fargo, yeah, the stagecoach and all, rode into town and opened up over, what is it, two million, two million fake credit card accounts. Now let me ask you a question. Now, I'm not the most savvy individual when it comes to big bank money, and I'm not sure ever anybody else is. But let me ask you a question. If I go and take your information and I open up a fake credit card account in your name and you incur these fees, is that not fraud? Can I not be punished and go to jail for doing this fraud? So my question is, since Wells Fargo opened up uh, you know, 2 million fake credit card accounts, and then ended up firing 5,300 low-level employees for doing this, how come nobody went to jail? Nobody got arrested, nobody got put in handcuffs, and we had two million accounts of fraud. I, I don't get it. So, so the CFPB comes in and they find them a bunch of money and the government finds them a bunch of money, like $100 million, and it goes to the government, it goes to the CFPB, but the actual victims you, the consumer, didn't get a dime. Now there is a class action lawsuit where maybe everybody gets about $80 or something, you know, something ridiculously stupid. But my question is, is why did the head honcho get to retire and get a million dollar pension and, and go off into the sunset and live a you know, beautiful life? Where does this money go when the CFPB finds the bank and and Wells Fargo, so they made $20 billion and they get fined $100 million and they so they still made out like a bandit. And then we have the stock market price being driven up because of all this fake reporting and, and nobody goes to jail. Warren Buffett owns the majority of Wells Fargo. Well, he didn't, you know, he sold off all his stocks or a lot of his stocks when the prices went up. So you tell me, where the money goes, and why nobody went to jail. I wanna hear your feedback. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.